Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we got some big Arrowverse news. I can't wait to talk about this because this is to do with a big new crossover that is going to be coming out. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is huge news that I'm reading off of Newsarama. I'm going to leave the link in the description below to the article. But before we get into the video, I just want to announce that I am back in London. I'm back at my normal setup and I'll be making daily videos as best as I can, like I normally do. And my live streams are back on this week. So things are going to be getting back to normal since I'm back from the States. So hopefully you guys are subscribed and you're ready for plenty of content over the next few weeks. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this. So the title of the article is Arrowverse comes full circle with its first comic book crossover event titled Earth Prime. Now, let's go ahead and read the article and I'll give you my thoughts and I'll give you some theories and everything like that afterwards. So the CW's DC television shows are coming full circle in a comic book crossover event set in the canon of the Arrowverse universe. Launching April 5th, Earth Prime is a three-month, six-issue event, with the first five issues spotlighting a current individual CW slash DC series, with the final issue, Earth Prime, issue number six, being a full-on Arrowverse crossover. Actors, writers, and even showrunners from the shows will be involved in the creation of such double-sized issues approved by the show's producers. With the unlimited possibilities of comic books, the event could potentially feature characters, settings, and action sequences not possible on the budgets of weekly TV series, and could also include the possible returns of characters from Arrow, Supergirl, and Black Lightning. All series are no longer in production. DC has released some information about the first two issues that go on sale in April. We're going to be going over those first two synopses for those first two Earth Prime issues. So yes, the event is called Earth Prime and it is going to be a comic book event. Now don't get this confused, this isn't a live action event, this isn't on our TV shows. However, it is canon and it will be existing, this big crossover event will happen in the Arrowverse. And that's because they've officially announced, yes it is canon, and so they've got everyone behind the scenes that wants to work on the comics to work on the comics and basically they're the ones coming up with the stories just like they would come up with a big Arrowverse crossover every year. So actors, writers and even showrunners are going to be involved in the creation of these comics which will start releasing on April 5th. The first one is going to be a Batwoman issue but we're going to go over the synopsis in a second. But this is huge because like the article mentions it brings a great opportunity to do things that they haven't been able to do on the shows and maybe they would be restricted from doing due to budgets or people showing up. Now, the biggest thing that I wanted to point out was this. So they mentioned the idea of bringing back characters from Arrow, Supergirl and Black Lightning because they are no longer shooting and it's a little bit more unlikely that they would come back for a big crossover event. So someone like Melissa showing up or maybe being involved in this would be a great way to have her character return in the canon of the Arrowverse whilst not having to make her come back to Vancouver and shoot again because like I said they literally just finished filming Supergirl, same with Black Lightning and obviously Arrow is a couple years older but there's also potential to set up future Arrowverse shows like Justice U, which is the new Arrow spin-off, which will see David Ramsey leading the show as John Diggle. He's going to be training some younger superheroes as they go undercover. That show could be set up in this crossover because, as you know, David Ramsey is very involved in the Arrowverse right now. Like, he just showed up on Batwoman earlier this week, and presumably he's going to show up on Superman and Lois in the next couple of weeks because he is directing one of the episodes. So be on the lookout for that. So I'm going to say the people that are most involved, like David Ramsey, could have a hand in this. Obviously, we know Cameron Johnson is writing the Batwoman comic. So the first issue of Earth Prime, this big crossover event, which will span three months and it will be six issues. So if you guys don't follow comics regularly, that means that, you know, they're going to release one issue one by one like every couple of weeks because they are splitting it over three months 
and so it's not going to be like week to week it'll probably be like once every two weeks we don't know the exact dates however the first five issues will spotlight these individual series that are currently on right now and i can tell you which individual series those are going to be so that is batwoman superman lois is issue two and then Issue 3 to 5 are other shows, so that includes DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Stargirl, and The Flash. And so with including Stargirl, that solidifies her in the Arrowverse, because remember we haven't had a direct crossover yet, so this will be Stargirl's first crossover. Although, yeah, she appeared in Crisis on Infinite Earths on another Earth, they are presumably going to be interacting in this crossover, because it's all leading up to Issue 6, which will see all of the shows properly crossing over, all the characters crossing over, and so it seems very exciting. But yeah, I'm specifically excited about the potential of like maybe Green Arrow returning, Oliver, and especially Supergirl, and maybe some Supergirl characters and some people from behind the scenes. Like, I would love Nia now to show up, and I would love Nicole Maines to be somehow involved in this, because if you didn't read recently, there was a part of DC Pride which was a comic book that came out earlier last year and Nicole Maines did a dreamer segment in that basically solidifying her in the comics so it would be great to see her involved once again just like Cameron Johnson is involved in the Batwoman segment of this crossover because he worked on a Batwing comic for DC Pride as well. So let me know down in the comments below who do you want to see returning in this crossover because this is canon. Yes, it's not live action. You're not going to see it on a TV show. However, they will potentially reference this stuff in the future and talk about them crossing over. And so it's big, especially for Stargirl and any returning characters. And I really do like the title of being Earth Prime because I do feel like this is going to be a multiversal crossover event where you're going to have like Stargirl coming over, discovering Earth Prime, and I think this is going to be our first discovery of the greater new multiverse that was created after Crisis on Infinite Earths, and also it's going to serve as Superman Lois's first crossover really since they started the show. Now let's move on from here. So we have the synopsis of two issues and we have some more details about the later issues. So Earth Prime issue 1, which is subtitled Batwoman, will release on April 5th and the synopsis goes like this. The event kicks off on April 5th with Earth Prime issue 1 featuring characters from the Batwoman TV series. The story stars the titular new Batwoman, Ryan Wilder, dealing with classic Batman villain Clayface making his Arrowverse Incontinuity debut, who binds himself to a local high school student along with Luke Fox, who deals with being both a new superhero and a boyfriend. Earth Prime Issue 1 will be written by show writers Natalie Abrams and Kelly Larson, along with Luke Fox slash Batwing actor Cameron Johnson. Comic book veteran Clayton Henry draws the issue. So, this is exciting. This is the first debut of Clayface in the Arrowverse, so another villain who's going to be in the canon of the Arrowverse. And yes, you could argue it's maybe a shame that, you know, his debut is in the comics. But it doesn't really matter because he can show up again and he could just be this one-time villain in this specific story arc. But yeah, so this is going to be mainly focusing on Batwoman and Batwing and the rest of the Batwoman cast of characters battling out on Earth Prime. I don't know how much these specific issues are going to cross over with the other shows, but we will have to wait and see. Okay, let's move on to issue number two. This is Earth Prime issue two, subtitled Superman and Lois. This is releasing two weeks later on April 19th, so that is bang on two weeks later. So this is how the synopsis goes. In this issue of Earth Prime, Clark Kent and Lois Lane celebrate their first wedding anniversary but are pulled off track by their respective careers as superhero and reporter, plus the origins of the evil Superman variant from Earth TUD-22 that's been teased in the first two seasons of the show will finally be explored directly. Earth Prime Issue 2 will be written by Superman Lois writers Adam Millinger, Jai Jameson, and Andrew Wong. Classic Superman artist Tom Grimmett will be drawing the issue with Inca Norm Ratmond. Both of the first two issues of Earth Prime feature covers by Kim Jacinto, along with a Batwoman and Superman Lois photo variant cover 
for the first and second issue respectively. So it seems the Superman Lois issue is actually going to be set in the past because this is set a year after their wedding because it's their first wedding anniversary and they are pulled off track by their respective careers as superhero and reporter so this will most likely be set in National City. But what's more interesting is that John Henry Irons' Earth Superman is going to be fully explored. Now this was teased last season and we've been thinking and waiting about when he's going to show up again because this version of Superman, yeah they escape from their Earth, but he's still around and he's probably terrorizing their Earth still. But in this issue we're going to be exploring that Superman's origin and they seemingly confirm the name of John Henry Irons' Earth which is Earth TUD-22. Now I wasn't made aware of that in the past so that's kind of new news for me. I don't know if any of you guys knew that they were calling their Earth that. But that's obviously super exciting and can't wait to explore this alternate version of Superman and also see more of Superman Lois' past. Because in Superman Lois we kind of pick up from the future and we don't really have much details about Superman and Lois's past. Because even when he was first introduced in Supergirl, he was introduced as already being established as one of Earth's earliest heroes and he's basically done everything so it's nice to go back to those earlier days. Okay so let's move on, so there is a couple more things at the end of this article. So the future issues of Earth Prime, Earth Prime's issues. 3 through 5 will feature stories set in the continuity of DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Stargirl, solidifying the series' loose ties to the Arrowverse, and The Flash, all written or co-written by creative talent from the shows. All of the first five issues will also feature bonus material created by cast members of the shows, along with teasers that give readers clues to the nature of the final crossover in issue 6, according to DC Comics. While the first five issues are all based on the current DCTV lineup, as we mentioned, appearances by characters from any previous or current Arrowverse shows in any issue, but especially the sixth crossover is possible, including in development series like Gotham Knights and Justice U. So that end of the article basically solidifies the idea that yes, there is definitely a chance that we're going to see many returning faces, especially in issue 6 because issue 6 has been teased as the final big crossover because they make it abundantly clear that the other issues, so the 5 issues before of Earth Prime are about the 5 shows that are being featured. Yes, you may have a couple of crossover characters there, but it's going to be kind of isolating those stories and then eventually crossing them all over together. I don't know if the storylines and you know the timelines are actually going to match up well, but at some point, presumably in the present day, in issue 6 they're going to finally cross over. And I really can't wait to see what's going to be going on in that issue. So what do you guys think about this? I think this is super exciting news for the Arrowverse. I like that they're going down a different route when right now it's a bit harder to get these big huge crossovers like Crisis on Infinite Earths made due to current circumstances around the world and restrictions about getting so many people on a set at a certain time and especially these big actors and it also poses a great opportunity to bring back talent from the past and current talent on the shows to write their specific stories like we've seen recently with Nicole Maines and Cameron Johnson writing some comics over at DC. But I'm gonna leave you guys here for now, so if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any future videos, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see